Hey guys, Ashley here, and today I am doing a thrift haul, which technically should have been done last month, but because of the Halloween videos, it didn't get done. So, it's mostly books and stuff. Well, books and stuff. It's mostly books. That's what it is. It's mostly books. But I do have some CDs here as well. Let's start with this plush, which technically isn't my thrift find. This was something that my younger brother found. It's Alvin. And this is a Build-A-Bear plush. These crop up at our, it's like, Salvation Army, Goodwills. They crop up all the time around here. And I don't know why, because our city doesn't have a Build-A-Bear. It's, like, in the next place over. But still, I thought that was a pretty cool find. So we'll just set Alvin down here. And then next we'll look at the CDs I've got. So these were 99 cents each, I think. Yeah. So I've got Reliant K. Uh, this one is the the anatomy of the tongue and, ch and cheek. I had to <laughs> check that again to, to be sure that was the right title. Um, yeah, I like that band. And I don't have a lot of their albums, but I thought that was a good deal. So I got... High School Musical 3, Senior Year, the soundtrack, obviously. Um, I got, mostly got this for my brother, which I keep forgetting to tell him that I got it for him, so this may actually be how he finds out. <laughs> um, other than that, I've got these two soundtracks here. Um, Electra, the album, and then just the soundtrack for the Rugrats movie. The Rugrats movie thing was more of like a nostalgia thing, but also I just... Have, I have a bit a bit of a collection of movie soundtrack. That's another thing to add to the growing list of things that I collect. <laughs> um, I don't have that many of them since I do get a lot of music digitally now, but I've got enough of them. So that's all the CDs I got. And then the only other thing I got before we get to the books is this giant bag of Lego Duplo. And this was three dollars. And I know a lot of people might might be like, oh well that's just a duplo, but I mean you can use the small Lego bricks with it and I don't know, I just I just like getting the duplo ones. I don't know all of what's in here. I'll probably do a separate video where we open this up and see what we got. But I see we got Buzz Lightyear here, there's Jesse. So there's cars. So there's like a lot of Disney over there. So we'll have another video where we open this up and see what we got. Okay, so now on to the books, which is what I, my iPod just, or, yeah, my iPod's going off somewhere. Okay. I should have turned that off. <laughs> um, anyway, we have quite a few books here. And we'll start with these ones. I've got books... 7, 8, 9, and 10 here. The Bobsy Twins. These are the rewritten ones. And I mostly have original text Bobsy Twins, but any Bobsy Twin book is fine with me since I collect those. And like with Nancy, I've got a few of the original text and then a few of the rewrites. So I like to read one and then read the other and just see what changed. Uh, anyway, the ones we got here are The Mystery at Meadowbrook. I think I have a original text of this one. I might not. I'd have to look. I mean, the shelf's right over there, but I can't really see the titles. So anyway, this one is Big Adventure at Home. I'm still looking over there trying to see if I have it as an original text. Um, Search in the Great City. I know I don't have that one. And the Bobsy Twins on Blueberry Island, which is another one that I definitely didn't already have in any form. So I thought that was cool. They weren't all together at the store either. I found them all in different spots. It was really weird. I actually found two of them mixed in with, like, the regular books, and then two of them in with the children's books. But even the ones in the children's books weren't in the same spot. Like, it was weird. One of them was with the, like, picture books. I don't know. I don't really feel like our Salvation Army has as much organization in terms of how they shelf the books. 
So these next two are Hardy Boys case file books. And I have here number 99, Frame Up. And number 8, See No Evil. And I love these books. I also have the Nancy ones. I didn't get any in here, I don't think. Yeah, I didn't get any in this trip, but I do have some, like, on the shelf. And I really do enjoy reading these, but I can almost never find them here. So, of course, I snatched these up. I don't remember the prices on these. They, I know they were all on sale. I want to say it was, like order a book because there was a big book sale when we went that's why there are so many books in this bag I picked up heaven is for real which was one that my grandma was wanting because she saw the movie and wanted to read the book but hadn't been able to find it so there's the book I like how this cover feels I don't know why <laughs> okay these books are falling on me um and then Next, we have a Babysitter Club book, Abby's Twin. And I have a lot of Babysitter Club books that were passed down to me from my mom and my Aunt Laura. So, this wasn't one I had, and I've been kind of trying to at least somewhat finish out the collection, just where I have gaps. And aside from that, I got sort of a twin obsession, so that was perfect on both fronts. And then I've got, speaking of twins, I have Sweet Valley Twins Choosing Sides, it's book four. I have Sweet Valley Kids, number five, It's Not Fair. And then we have Sweet Valley High Bitter Rivals. That is book 29. And we have another Babysitter's Club book, Mind Your Own Business, Christy, and this is book 107. The other one was book 104, because I don't think I said. You probably could see it, though. Um, then we have Sweet Valley Twins Second Best. It's book 16. We have Sweet Valley Twins 11, Buried Treasure. And I found that all of these were, were in like really good condition. Well, this one has a big crease on the front, but they were, for the most part, in really good condition. I think that these were all donated by the same person as well. We have Boys Against Girls, it's book 17. We have 15, The Older Boy. I think the rest of these are all Sweet Valley Twins. We have number 14, Tug of War. And these are the most Sweet Valley books I have ever found in one go. Uh, this is Sweet Valley Twins 12, Keeping Secrets. Sweet Valley Twins 23, Claim to Fame. Uh, Sweet Valley Kids, number 10, The Twins in the Wild West. Uh, Sweet Valley tw Twins 33, Elizabeth's New Hero. And that's all the Sweet Valley books. And then our last one is The Babysitter's Club, Jesse's Babysitter. And that is book. 36. That was another one that I didn't have already. And with these, I really rounded out my Sweet Valley Twins collection. I mostly had a bunch of the old Sweet Valley High ones and university ones from my mom and aunt, so I had been wanting to get more of the Sweet Valley Twins ones. I think I only had one of those that was passed down, and all the rest were ones that I had bought from thrift shops. And these are the these Sweet Valley Kids books are the only Sweet Valley Kid books I have in my collection right now. So I thought that was actually a pretty cool find. Just so many of them just in one place. There was, I think, two others that I didn't get because the back covers had been ripped off. And I don't know. I just didn't like the idea of having two books without back covers. So anyway, that's all I have for today. And iPod, stop it. That's all I have for today. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, I hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.